so we'll go to the second problem uh, checking the causal and non causal systems y of t equal to x of 3 into t for t less than 0 and x of t minus 1 for t greater than or equal to 0 given system y of t with this value we need to check whether the system is causal or non causal so as like previous example we need to go for the values of t you can uh, take any values of t for example the first limit is t less than 0 so any value of t less than 0 we can take it so t is minus 1 during this uh, interval then what happens to your uh, output output at this time is y of t equal to x of 3 into t so at t equal to minus 1 y of minus 1 will be equal to what x of minus 3 because t is minus 1 3 into minus 1 is minus 3 so it shows what the causal the output at any time that is at uh, this minus 1 depends upon the past value of input okay for minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 1 the minus 2 and minus 3 are the past values for uh, minus 1 the future value is 0 and 1 2 3 etc so these are the future values now the t value is minus 1 that is the present value of input the output at present a value of t is depending upon the past value of input so the given system is said to be causal similarly you can check it for t greater than or equal to 0 for this problem the limit of t is given so we are taking the value of t in those intervals but for the first sum it is generally given y of t equal to x of 3 into t so we randomly chosen the values for t okay for this sum the t limit is given so within that limit we are checking whether the system is causal or non causal so we verified the system to be causal at t less than 0 you can go for checking other values also that depends on the only the past input so we call uh, the system at this duration as causal now you come to the limit t greater than or equal to 0 so t greater than or equal to 0 we'll go for taking the values first for t equal to 0 so if we put t equal to 0 what happens to the left hand side y of t y of 0 equal to x of just see y of t equal to x of t minus 1 you should take the expression as x of t minus 1 for t greater than or equal to 0 so we take t equal to 0 So y of t y of zero becomes x of zero minus one. So that is x of minus one. I'll write the question here again once again. So y of t is x of t minus one for t greater than or equal to zero. So when we substitute t equal to zero, it uh, it becomes x of minus one. For zero minus one is past input. So output at this present time depends on the past value of input so the system is said to be causal and we need to check one more thing greater than 0 so t greater than 0 we have taken for example t equal to 1 so t equal to 1 the expression becomes y of 1 equal to x of 1 minus 1 so it becomes 0 so output at uh, time 1 that is present value depends on the past input okay you know the values uh, how it is being represented as like in graph so only we need to take that okay 0 1 2 3 like that so minus 1 these are the past values these are the future values for 1 these are the future values and these are the past values so a simple concept we are using it here so output at uh, time t equal to 1 present value depends on the past value of input so the system is said to be causal we have verified for all the intervals t equal to 0 t greater than or equal to 0 and also for t less than 0 we have verified all the in all the durations we have taken some uh, example values for t and the system is found to be causal system is found to be causal we'll move on to the third sum 
check 